was hacked again, this time by Veritasium. Yeah. And as many of you observed, my wife doesn't respect me. Oh? Have you read the comments on that video? It's wild. Why don't we jump into a little bit of behind the scenes. Um, that Veritasium collab, we actually have been working on doing more collabs because we realized that we've kind of been stuck in our little bubble up here in Vancouver and haven't talked to anybody or collaborated with anybody pretty much since COVID. Mm -hmm. And there have been a couple of small exceptions, but we used to collab with other creators a fair bit and we just stopped. In fairness to us, we've been a little busy, especially over the last year. We've had some work to do getting our house in order, but we kind of talked about this a couple of months ago, I guess, and aligned on that, hey, we need to kind of, you know, get out there, put ourselves out there, start start seeing people again. I was pushing for this for sure. Yeah, 100%. I think it's cool. It's a good, it's a, it's a... Yeah, it's a good part about being a creator. Well, and it's fun. Yeah. You know, I think it's fun for everybody. It's uh, fun for me. I like to think I'm fun to collaborate with for other creators. And it's, I think it's fun for the audience as well to see yeah. these crossovers. Yeah. Anyway, the Veritasium collab was one that completely fell into our lap. Uh, Derek reached out and he was basically like, look, I think out of kind of everyone that I could work with on this, you're probably one of the ones that would appreciate what we're doing the most right um and i was like this sounds like the coolest thing ever but something people i think don't necessarily realize is that in a production like this there is a little bit of movie magic that is not yeah. to say that the attack vector isn't real it is real that is not to say that if derek wanted he couldn't have intercepted my phone number you put a skin on it oh uh, we could talk about my skin a little bit later. Oh, okay. Not right now. All right. Don't worry about it. Okay. The point is that he could have intercepted my number. Yeah. But if you observed any things about the video <laughs> that, that were a little weird, um, it's because it wasn't my number because Derek and our team had serious um, reservations around anybody, whether it's him or the security researcher that he partnered with or anybody, um, you know, just willy nilly intercepting my communications. I was mad. Were you? I saw the video came up in my notifications and I had a massive like WTF. Why did you not tell me? Moment. Oh yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah, I probably then, should have mentioned it to you. And then I skipped through the video to be like, what happened? Do I need to be doing something about like no one told me anything happened? And then I see your phone at one point and I was like, oh, that's not his phone. Okay. And then I went all the way back and just watched it casually. However, <laughs> this however, was a good video. did you enjoy it? <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah. So so one of the things that um people seemed kind of upset about in the video was that Yvonne doesn't respect me. Why? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I, I would just like to give you guys a little bit of background for what happened in our interaction. First of all, when I called her, so I knew it was coming from a real sim, a sim that they obtained over the counter, because the point was not to just do a theoretical demonstration. The point was to do a practical, real-life demonstration mm. of how this kind of an attack works. It is very real. Um, so they just obtained a sim and put it into a phone. But that wasn't my SIM. So when I called Yvonne, it was coming from a completely different phone number, one that she wasn't familiar with. Oh, I didn't even, because I knew that, so I didn't even register. Okay. So, so, I, so when I first called okay. her, I was just messing with her at the beginning of the call. Did you notice I, I tried to make my voice sound like, yeah. like kind of like a I scam? I thought this was pretty obvious, or, to be honest. <laughs> I, I, like I didn't I didn't even sort of I've been sitting here confused about what they would have even been talking about because I thought it was like pretty apparent so um uh. so Yvonne hung up on me not because she doesn't respect her husband or doesn't want to talk to me she hung up on it's me because like she is a smart lady no it's good who happens to be the financial controller for a small to medium sized business depending on how you measure it and is not interested in talking to AI robocaller spam people. Yeah. Um, she did a great job. It was actually partially just because I had an opportunity to just do a little test. Like if I sounded a little weird, would she stay on the line or would she hang up? No, that's good. She did the right thing. She did 100% the no, right yeah, thing. If anything, I, yeah, I, just, I thought that. I didn't... I <laughs> 
so man. so then I the one that I do want to explain is that when I was actually talking to her and I was kind of explaining how the thing works and she said I'm with Cindy and I was immediately like okay bye and she was like bye um, the reason for that is because our cat was sick. Um, so we got two kittens uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, oh man, I guess it's almost a month ago now. We, we adopted two little kittens that were uh, our neighbor's friend found them in their shed, essentially. So these are just like wild cat kittens. Um, and one of them developed a fever and was super lethargic. And we contacted our vet friend and we were like, hey, Cindy, context, um, how long should we wait? Like, cause I, I know from talking to you, like the smaller the animal, potentially the, the scarier Not any kind of illness can be. always, but for the most part, yeah. But, but you know, if, if, if you don't like have a lot of blood and meat and liquid in you, you know, not drinking for a day is a lot bigger of a deal for something, you know, like this with no blood in it versus like if an elephant didn't drink for a day, it's probably going to be okay. It, it does vary a fair amount, but, but, but yeah, it, I think I think we can say it's a general in, in general rule. probably yeah. So so it was enough for me to ask and or I'm like more yo Cindy like how long should we wait to 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 bring him in? And she goes mm, a day at most and I'm like okay That's uh, not a lot. Yeah. so what's your availability like? Um so she squeezed us in. So the reason that I'm with Cindy meant this conversation needs to end right now. Oh, yeah, because you're was, on a crazy time crunch. was because she was at the vet who had graciously squeezed us in to take care of our sick kitten. If that was rude, I'm rude. I oh, was filming a video 100%. not that long ago. Emma called me, and I answered and was like, I'm filming a video, and she's like, okay, bye, and just immediately hung up. She did. Yeah. It's, so I don't know. Um... It's it's all fine. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, there's a bit of, there's a bit of movie magic in stuff like this, but the video was great. The attack is awesome. extremely real, and yeah. the demo was 100% real, but if there was any kind of weirdness that you guys observed, it was because it was a little weird. I was calling from an unfamiliar number in the first place. I decided to do the voice because I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, I, I'm actually kind of surprised he left that in the cut. I didn't, really, like, I didn't really contribute any of my thoughts to how he should cut it together or how his team should deal with that. They were super professional. Uh, it was super cool working with them. I first met Derek quite a few before, years ago at this point. Five years ago or something at like least. that. And um Remember the COVID gap. Yeah. It might be longer no, no, than it that. was pre-COVID gap at a creator summit, I think. So yeah, it uh, so I, I first met him ages ago. No, I, I'm thinking like it might be closer to like seven, is what it, I'm saying. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Twenty Dude, seven years ago, I wasn't cool enough to get invited to a creator summit. That's twenty seventeen. I know. Yeah, no, I didn't go to create. No, really? Yeah, yeah, no, dude. Even when I even when I went, I think it was five years ago. I was like not a cool kid, you know. Like, they're, well, dude, uh, there's seriously like like massive personalities at these things with you know global you know followings and huge brands and like like d dude. Uh, I think that was around the time that like Dude Perfect was signing like deals with Nickelodeon, you know. And I'm like, I, uh, hi, I make, I make tech tips. Um, <laughs> I can fix your computer. Do you, do, you, do you want some tech tips? Do you like computers? Uh, <laughs> Stop all the downloading. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, got him. So I, um, so I was just happy that you know, cool kids like Veritasium and uh, Michael from Vsauce were even willing to like talk to me a little bit. Um, that was, that was exciting. I never thought we'd collaborate. And then this one just happened completely out of nowhere. And I, I'm, I'm so excited. I think, I think Derek's great. Um, thought yeah. the video was great. Really appreciate it. Really it. I but, learned a bunch of stuff, but that's why it was a little weird <laughs> and everything is okay. <laughs> We're okay. Everyone's okay. <laughs>